Welcome. Today we want to focus on the Office integration for Content Manager. My name is James McCann. I'm a pre-sales consultant for Microfocus and I work on the Secure Content Management Suite. So the first piece I want to focus on is the integration with Word. So if I go to File and Content Manager Options, I have an opportunity to specify a default record type. So if I want to specify HR document as the default record type, I can do so here. I can also update the, the My Documents folder. So this is the temporary working directory or the staging path for Content Manager files. The default is the My Documents folder. However, if you want to update the path, you can do so here. Then we also have the Content Manager ribbon. There's a number of options here, which I'll run through one by one. So the first of which is new. Um, so this will create a new document from a template stored in Content Manager. The next is open which of course can open an existing record in Content Manager. So I can browse through favorites, recent containers, recent documents, also record trays. I can also search on document content as well if I wish. So if, if I want to search for personal, for example, the term personal that has performed a content search, and then I can open up the following record. So moving back to the ribbon, that record has now been opened. If I want to make a change, so I'll slightly change the text here. And if I want to update uh, the current revision, I can select check in. So that will update the current version or revision in Content Manager. I can make this a final copy if I wish by using the make final button. This means that no further changes will be made to the document. I can also save this as a new item as well if I want to make a further change. And if I want to save this as a new record in Content Manager, I can use the check in as option here. And I'm going to run through the process of securing an item from scratch. So I want to use the HR document record type. And then you have an opportunity to update any of the properties listed here, including the container. So this is exactly where the item will be stored in Content Manager. So if I want to select one of the recent containers I was using here, I could do so. I could also update the leave info properties that are presented here and also the access control as well. So the default for the record type that I have selected have been populated. So I have restricted populated for the security level. I have human resources populated for the active security caveats. And I also have my access controls also populated for this HR document record type. I'm gonna leave uh, as is and go with the defaults there. I can update those if needed though. So if I click OK, then that record is then uh, secured as a new record in Content Manager. Then we can also view the record properties again if I select record properties. Again, I can uh, update any of the properties listed here, the access controls. I can also insert pictures, texts or objects from existing uh, records into the, the, the document which I'm currently working on in Content Manager. And then I also can make use of the help function as well. So this is a help file, which we've seen in all of our other clients as well. Then we also have the check in on close dialog, which is selected by default. So if I want to make a further change to this item, just changing some of the text again, if I then close word, I am then asked to want to save changes to the current revision. So this will update the current revision if I select yes in content manager. So this is a fail safe approach and it means we can't lose any work. So that covers our integration for Word, which is the same as Excel and PowerPoint. And then we also have our Outlook integration, which works slightly differently. So we'll cover that now. So I'm into the sent items here in my mailbox. Notice that there are a number of items which have CM colon prepended to the subject of the, the mail item. That means that these items have been successfully secured to Content Manager. So if I want to select a few items which haven't been secured here, I've got a few test emails. So if I want to select the Content Manager ribbon, and if I select Check in as, I can run through the process again from scratch to create a new record here. So in this case, I want to select the email record type, as it is, of course, an email. And then I can update any of the the properties that I've shown here. Again, that's the same dialog box we've seen before. So I can update the container, 
or the access controls, for example. Again, I'll just go with the defaults here. So that's one way of securing an item um, to Content Manager with the Outlook client. However, a much more popular way, uh, which you'll be using on a daily basis, is to use a check-in style. So if I select the following item on check-in styles here, we can see the check-in styles are populated on the right. And if I edit the properties of the following check-in style, this is the rules that the item will follow before being secured to Content Manager. So we can see here that the email record type has been specified. I also have the container, which has been specified to determine exactly where the item will be secured to in Content Manager. I then also have the delete after check-in item selected. This means that uh, the item will be removed from the mailbox once it's been secured successfully to Content Manager. There's also a new option, which is only catalog the attachments of email messages, which as you can imagine, will only secure the attachments and it will not secure the parent email. So in this case, I want to select the following item and select check-in with style, and then I'll select the following check-in style. Once I do this, you will notice that the item will remove, uh, be removed from the mailbox as it has been secured successfully. As we can see there, it just disappeared. So that has been secured successfully to Content Manager. The Outlook client is bi-directional as well, so we can secure items to Content Manager, and we can also attach items to new messages or emails as well. So if I select new email, and if I want to select the content manager ribbon here on a touch record, again, I can run through the favorite containers and favorite documents as I did previously. In this case, I want to select the following record, click OK. And then I am asked whether I want to select to attach a content manager record link. So this is useful if you don't want to attach the original document to the email and for security reasons as well, it's also a better approach as it ensures that the user receiving the email must have content manager and the appropriate permissions to be able to open the file. There is also the option to attach the original document as well if needed. In this case though, I just want to use the content manager record link. Click OK. And then the record link is then inserted into the new email. There's a few other options here which can be used as well. So if I click check in on send, and if I click another check in style, and if I was to then go ahead and send this email, then that would ensure that this email is then secured to Content Manager as a new record. So if I want to then click on the item, this will open up uh, the record link. And I will open up the web client as we can see here. And this takes me to the record in the web client. If I then want to quickly view that document, I could do so here. So again, this is the same document that I was working on. And I can also check for items registered on today, just to check on the items which I was able to secure from the Outlook client and from Word also. So if I wanted to view one of the test emails that I used here, again, this was a simple test email. Again, I can confirm that this is indeed the right item which was secured. So just to recap on what we've seen, we covered the, the Word integration, which is the same as our integration for PowerPoint and Excel. And we also covered the Outlook integration, which is bi-directional, so we can secure new items with the Outlook client, and we can also secure existing records to new emails as well. So that covers our integration with Content Manager for Microsoft Office. Thank you.